Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Except when you're dealing with the temperature. So it's dropped down, so it's not as bad. We're at uh, 91 degrees, uh, 108 heat index, and then with 70% humidity. So not good, but it got better. I still had to force myself to come out here today. The hardest part I think is loading up the kayak to the top of the car. Because in Marathon, I, I, it's got to be like 10 degrees worse on temperature and humidity because it's just horrible. But once that's done, I get out here to Big Pine, get out into the water. Got that breeze going. It's nice. Got a little bit of overcast, so it's manageable. And it's, it's okay. So uh, today, I'm not going to do anything fancy. It's already after 3 o'clock. Uh, I wasn't going to come out. I skipped this whole week, but I figured I better get out one day. So today is it. Uh, I'm just gonna do a rerun of my last trip this time take a little bit slower now that I know there's no real bait around and Spending a bunch of time running around is gonna do any good I'm just gonna try to find fish and then stick with fish and catch fish. So that's the plan But first we got to get away from these weeds and foamy water. I don't know what's going on here So let's head on down the road and see what we see. All right. I finally found my first school of tarpon way over there uh yeah, this weeds is not good. At least I'm out of the uh, little bubbly, foamy water. Where'd they go? Oh, they're right there. All right. Tarpons are here. Yeah, there's a school there. They're kind of going into that hole over there. I don't know if you can see them. They're right at the entranceway now. Um, so on today's menu, we've got the Schmittel fly. I forgot my bonefish box, so I just have some white bucktails in the quarter. I've got a fluke. I could rig a weedless. And I've got a weighted circle hook, and I brought a frozen leftover mullet, so I've got that as well. So I've got kind of a smorgasbord. So let's see what we can do with that. Hey, there's some tarpon right there. There they go. I thought I saw gurgling in that little creek inlet there, so looks like that's where they're going. More tarpons. I see them. They're inside that thing playing in that creek there. They're just hiding out. Yep, I see them. Oh, they're coming this way. Big school of them. You see them right there? I see at least, see four, eight of them. Got my pink uh, weedless. Oh, that spooked them. Wow. That wasn't a good cast. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I didn't think they would freak out that much. But yeah, they didn't, they didn't appreciate that at all. All right, I don't wanna see if they'll come back. Can you see them? There's some dark spots there, but I bet you they pushed out. All right, let's keep following them. Well, not here, but you can kind of see it goes all the way across when the water's high like this. But I think they went out into this open water over here, so that's where we're gonna go. Man, look at this. What is going on here? That cannot be good. 
what is causing that but I can't see fish I don't think the fish like that because it makes everything real spooky but look at that the whole bay is this sudsy water that definitely can't be good something's happening what is going on look at that look how sudsy it is going all inside there inside the mangroves it's solid white like this because it's all those suds are getting pushed in there I mean it looks like snow all inside there all the way back look at this it's like a laundry machine soap that can't be good okay I got on the other side of it so hopefully it stays clean like this I'm not seeing any fish. Uh, we'll keep on moving away from that sudsy stuff. You see how far I got hit over here. This is the other weird thing. The water is green. Our water is not green. <laughs> Unless you go out to the reef and beyond. But on the flats, it is usually not green. I thought it was because of my lenses. I just put some new ones in, but no, it's green all right. Yeah, I don't know if it has something to do with that uh, African Sahara dust, or this is something heat related, like algae growth, but that can't be good either. Well, I see tarpon gurgling. I hear tarpon rolling. All those rings there are from tarpon. I hear them. Oh, there's one. Not bad size. Gotta be more rolling over here. I hear did them. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see tails. I saw their tails swimming away. There's like full of glass minnows in here. Oh, I see them right there. All these glass minnows as well. Oh, there's another one there. There they are, there they are. Did I spook them? I must have spooked them. Oh, I see them kind of swimming that way. Yeah, that put the fear of fear of kayaks on them. Oh yeah, they're rolling over there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to the other side, uh, get away from that foamy water. I haven't seen anything on my other areas, so moving along. There goes a couple of them. Them tarpons. Looking for any other target species, but it's just the tarpon. Everything else is gone, gone, gone. But the water is still kind of high, so I'm still just going to kind of wait it out, but see what we see later this evening. Starting to get a heat headache. You can see the rings. I hear them, then I see the rings, but that's the tarpon rolling. I'm just gulping for extra oxygen in this hot water. There they are right there. I could just see the, oh, there you get a better see, see 
see him a little better there. He's a nice size one. There's some smaller ones. The shadows, yeah, that's a smaller one there. A couple of small ones. And the shadows, the only thing I could see is their tails. I don't know, it has a whole pack of them going with them. I wonder if that's the male in front and all the little females. Or he's the captain. Oh, there's a little school of them right there rolled in front of me. Oh, there they go. They're starting to go underneath the tree. Yep, there's a tarpon. Three of them. Four of them. Five of them. Yeah, smart idea. Find some shade. But where are the other species? Well, that's as far as I can go, but they're in there because you can see how wavy the water is over there and there. There's kind of a little trail that cuts through and goes out to the main channel. That's where these guys are going. But I can't make it there unless I had a chainsaw. All right, moving on. Still have not seen any other species, not even a Goliath. There's one sneaking by. That's a pretty good size one. Need a pig and jig. Jig them up. See, they can go all through that shallow water logs, no problem. It's on the Tarpon Highway through the forest. All right, there's a bunch of little, little ones rolling around here. Ooh, they, they came out. Oh no. Come on. Slip it out. Slip it out. Slip it out. Let, uh, nice. Nice. Did they roll out? Oh, I see the lines. They're taken off that way. Now they're pissing me off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he went that way. He was watching it. I just can't see him, so it's hard to, well, to sight hit him. All right. Let's try over there where that dragonfly is. See them. Can't tell if they're there or not. Pretty sure they're probably. No, I can't see even with that glare. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one. Oh, in the tree. Oh, right, perfect. Not get it. Not get it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm 
Bye. Come on. Come on. Just can't see. Can't see them. Alright, we're moving. Oh, there they are. Sneaking up on me. Get out of here. How rude. I think I had a knife that was going to stab me. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Oh, no, there's one right there. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, perfect. They're hiding under those weeds. Oh, there is the other. Oh, spooked him. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Oh, turn around. Come back. Oh, he was looking for it. There's another one there. Don't get distracted, Steve. Don't get distracted. Oh, I didn't like that. All right, that spot is blown. Moving on. Getting heat stroke out here. They're just doing this to mess with me, so I pass out and die. Is that that same two? That was deep. That was deep. Ooh, he swooped at it. Oh, mocking me. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's got my fly. I broke it off. D dang it. Duh, 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 dang it. Look at all of them right there. Oh, they're all like, what are you eating? What are you eating? This is what you're going to eat. A pink freaking fluke here. Oh, got weeds. Dang it, got the weeds. Oh no. What is this? Oh, that was terrible. That hurt my soul. Freaking, he gulped it. Oh my God. I gotta take a break. Well, it broke it on the actual line. I had a little shock leader, some 30 pound, about a foot. But this broke on the actual tapered leader. This is a bonefish tapered leader, but I'm getting high enough where it's getting pretty thick. So I'm just gonna cut off this end, that's the thinner end. Now we're getting into some pretty thick stuff and I'm gonna tie it. It's gonna be a short leader, but not that big of a deal for these tarpon and the way I'm fishing them. I've got one more schminnow. And let's see if we could uh, get our tarpon. I am slow cooking. I'm not comfortable.
chugging down water, but I could feel it just evaporating. All right, there's some just hiding in the current right here. Oh, they're coming to see me. Ooh, that's a big chunker on the second one. Look at him. Three of them. Oh, didn't even see him. Oh, got him. God, oh, that was the big one. G -g 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 shoot. Oh, the big one hit and I missed him. The big one hit and I missed him. The big one hit and I missed him. Probably because of that little one screwed me up. The big one hit and I missed him. Oh, great. Probably a good idea to look behind. Oh man. A big one hit and I missed it. Alright, we're back. Something's up. The big one hit it and I missed it. Period. Alright, let's get one of these guys here real quick. Man, that big one hit it and I missed it. Blind it. Oh shoot, I forgot that stuff's behind me. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. We wouldn't mind him. Oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, he didn't see it. Oh there he goes. Oh, no! What the hell? These tarpon have teeth or what? Well, that was my last fly. Yeah, buddy. And it broke it. And it broke it. What the hell is that? Oh, it's honkers. Freaking just broke it. My anger level, 8.6. All right, so I think these things are king in on shrimp. That would be getting kicked out of here and run through this current. So I've got the all about the bait schmino. And we'll see if that uh, entices them. Because the big one bit and I missed them. Oh, God, got it already. Holy crap, that was fast. Oh, I don't have the drag. Dang, it just hit the water and is like, I shall have that, Schmino. Man, that was like really, really fast. All right, I want to get him off before he freaks out everybody in the creek here. Oh, his buddy wants it. I'm wondering. Oh, no, 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 no. Greedy Steve? No, not with tarpon. They are difficult to deal with handle. Yeah. The Schmino for the win.
Jump, jump. Done. All right, good. I want my Schmino back. Oh, no, anchor. Oh, that knocked me over. Be done. for the win. Ah, oh, there it goes. And that is the Schmino. All ripped up and twisted. What the hell happened to it? Oh, there it goes. Sort of. All right, so that is the Schmino. This is actually one of my own custom design baits only can buy at allaboutthebait.com it's a four inch fluke with my esky shrimp tail on it but if you have your heart set on a fluke then you could cut out the notch and then it's a, a v fluke there v tailed fluke but otherwise it is a shrimp tail drifting along there and that baby gets really smashed really fast. Bam! There goes a bonefish right there. That was a bonefish and I don't have a rod. I've got a bucktail though. Dang it. That could have got me my two thirds of a, well, I don't have any bonefish jigs, but dang it. Holy crap, I saw a bonefish come back. Where'd he go? He was swimming that way, coming this way. Where's he at? I anchored up here and I've been sitting here. I saw him, he was just swimming this way. I've just got my white bucktail jig, which is fine. I caught him on these. I don't have my little bonefish jigs and soft plastics and bucktails with me. Holy crap, this could be the spot. All right, I pulled the anchor and I'm just gonna drift this thing since I don't have a lot of sun left. Just see if I cover some water and run into any more. Just to see if it might be worthwhile to prospect this area out. Basically, I would do is come at uh, probably a little higher tide, still anchor up in a similar spot, and then throw out chunks of shrimp and see if that sucks any uh, bonefish out of here. I mean, I saw two, but it could have been the same one that's just hanging out here and it's a one-shot deal. So, I wouldn't want to spend too much time here, but yeah, I'm losing the dang sun. But it may be worthwhile because that creek dumps food out into this big flats and then the channel so it does like a realistically look like a pretty decent spot but we shall see well weird thing number four zero no seams or mosquitoes at all i mean i went through that creek there and usually get swarmed with at least no seams and then scattered uh mosquitoes with them but nothing not a single buzz not a single bite 
didn't see a single one that is odd very very odd I mean it's probably got to do that they haven't had any rain but still there's water well even though the water's dropping seeing zero redfish and snook I'm losing the visibility but uh, I'm still seeing all the juvenile tarpon out on the edge they're just rolling every once in a while pretty stacked up pretty good I've been seeing them all along here so they're getting pushed out and they're going right out there but I don't want to play with them yeah right there so they're heading out mocking me if I can get a little closer I'll hit them I'll throw a schminnow at you guys all right I am done for the day still plenty of sunlight but I am whooped that heat just sucks it out of you I think I started off a little dehydrated and didn't catch up with enough water but still uh, four odd things today uh, number one was that soapy foamy water I don't know what up was up with that but fortunately it was just in that one basin so I don't know what caused that but glad it's not everywhere that'd be a bad thing uh, two was that greenish water uh, I can't really see it here because of losing the Sun and then the grass but yeah that was a bit odd too I didn't see that before uh, three no snook no redfish no mullet none at all um, I am off tide cycle a bit so I would probably say the last video I did where I saw all those snook and redfish uh, tarpon are everywhere but uh, as well uh, I was at a lower tide period and that usually causes things to get fleshed out but even then even when I go where it's on a dropping but still kind of high right now uh, usually I would run into fish uh, running along that edge or hiding back under there but not a single not a single fish only thing out is just lots of juvenile tarpon uh, some bigger size juveniles which is nice to see but strictly juvenile tarpon no other fish no kudas didn't really see mangroves no goliath groupers so uh yeah that this is kind of the situation i thought i would have saw last week which i was very pleasantly surprised seeing all those fish but uh what's number four? Oh yeah number four no mosquitoes and no seums uh, I went through those small creek channels and stuff. Usually I just get hammered with no seams especially. And then you get mosquitoes mixed in, but none. So uh, that might have to do with not having very much rains or maybe the, the high uh, heat levels or humidity might not be good for hatching little no seams. But uh, that's a weird thing, but kind of probably not a bad thing. But uh, otherwise, uh, that's the day. I'm calling it early because I'm wiped out. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye. Oh, if you're coming down here for a mini lobster season, I don't know what to expect. Water is icky right here. Um, some areas, if you go out to the main channels, which flushing a lot of water, I guess, and especially Atlantic going to the Gulf, it's a little bit cooler, but... Uh, if you get to these channels that don't push a lot of water and it's Gulf side pushing towards the Atlantic, I think that water temperature is definitely a lot warmer. So it uh, the water temps are actually probably warmer than the air temps, which means these are in the 90s. So uh, I know last week they were getting up to the mid to high 90s water temps <laughs> down around Key West at the sandbars. So. Uh, be careful out there. Drink a lot of water. Hopefully the lobsters don't mind. I have a feeling that might uh, kick those guys out into the deeper water, but never know. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.